Kaizen. Um, it, uh, uh, it, so I, it definitely has a special place uh, in my heart, but um, I also know that uh, HP does uh, so much more um, uh, in terms of the health needs of our community. And <clears throat> one of the things that I think is really, um, we're finally getting, I think, more um, awareness of is that we spent so many years uh, in really just making sure our community survived uh, during the, HIV, the height of the HIV AIDS epidemic. And although the epidemic is by no means uh, over and we continue every year to struggle with federal uh, HIV service cuts that we backfill uh, locally, um, we are, we're doing better. And it's really, I think, allowed us to pay even more attention to the broader uh, health needs of our community. Because we know that um, as much as sometimes there are certain uh, images in the in the media or on TV of the LGBT community, we know that our community has many uh, healthcare ne needs around mental health, around substance abuse, um, our, the tra in the transgender community, huge unmet health needs. And we actually, just last year, were able to finally close the loophole in Healthy San Francisco to make sure that there is no longer an exclusion uh, for trans healthcare. And so we just keep working as a community. <laughs> Just, you know, keep working as a community to make sure that we're meeting all of the health care needs um, of all uh, LGBT people, of all people uh, living uh, with HIV um, or at risk for HIV and so forth. And uh, I'm just very, very proud of uh, AHP's work um, on so many of these issues and uh, the organization will always have my support in the, in the budget process and uh, elsewhere. So thank you.